Okay, this really isn't much of a first look. Uh, Descent Road to Legend has been out for maybe a year now, but man, is it amazing. I'm so excited to share this with you. Um, it's one of uh, my more recent uh, attempts at a hybrid board game, and I have to say that this has really sold me on the concept. Uh, this is an add-on app for Descent the board game, which allows you to play the board game, but rather than having to have one player play the enemy characters, uh, you can work together against the board game. But that's not really all. It also runs campaigns and can create random events and really just adds a lot more surprise and AI-driven fun to the game. You'll start with a campaign map that shows uh, places that you can visit, towns that you can visit, or locations you can go to quest. Uh, once you decide to travel, there will sometimes be events that you need to tackle. Uh, in this case, we meet a goblin who's asking for our help, and we have to decide how to deal with the problem. These uh, solutions can give you benefits to the overall campaign status of your game. They can also actually hurt your characters as you go into the game, so you have to be careful about your choices. Once you hop into a different scenario uh, the game will give you specific instructions on how to set up that scenario so it'll supply you with the tiles to use as well as any markers to put on the map once you've got the markers on the map it will also tell you where to place uh, enemy markers on the map so you know exactly how to set up the scenario as you start as you can see i've followed the instructions to set up my board uh, according to what they displayed for me to set up. So again, it's really easy to just follow, get into the game, get it set up. I've played with my daughter who's four and the setup was quick enough that she didn't get bored and actually really enjoyed the game. Rather than having one player control the enemy characters, it gives you sort of scripted actions for those characters to carry out. And it's usually pretty easy to follow. They split them between the master characters and the minion characters and sometimes different things apply to each. And so you uh, carry out these actions. Sometimes you have to make small choices, but really it's up to you, like, do I want to make a hard choice or an easy choice? And then you go ahead and carry out the actions as they tell you. So in this case, the archer fires on my character dealing some damage and then uh, retreats as instructed by the game card. So again, this is all driven by uh, the way the card plays out. Uh, you will be using the physical pieces, you'll be using the dice, you'll be using the figurines, you're going to be using even the reference cards to show you some of the abilities that the characters have when they have a lightning bolt or a surge as it's called in the game. So again, you're not, I don't think you're in the app a ton compared to something like XCOM or even Alchemist, I think you're in there a lot less often. It's more of the storyteller that drives the action between the rounds rather than driving the action throughout the round. One of my favorite aspects of the game is the way that the app has the ability to deal with random events. So in this case, I'm uh, clicking one of the search tokens, which is like a treasure chest or something on the map. What's cool about this is sometimes there'll be traps or other uh, negative things that I have to deal with. In this case, I got a cool item, but other times, there's times where I have to do a test, a skill check to see if I can succeed or I might take damage. Just really fun random events that occur uh, that are driven by the computer that just maybe wouldn't be as fun or as fluid on the tabletop. I just have the base set of Descent, but what's cool that I've seen is that you have this ability to add in different items into your collection and it will generate the campaign scenarios based on what you have. So you may run into different types of enemies if you have certain expansions that you wouldn't have otherwise. Um, it's really cool and a really <laughs> sneaky way of wanting, getting you to buy more of the content. But I like the idea of having, you know, real motivation and really uh, rewarding you for what you do on or rewarding you for your collection. Um, on top of the collection mechanics, uh, the game has multiple save files. So if you want to be running different campaigns, maybe a solo campaign, maybe a campaign with different friends, you have that ability to save that data. Again, it's not going to save your character data. You're going to have to take those characters and put them in separate baggies or storage devices so you can keep all your items and stuff together, but it will maintain what you've done in the quest, and actually it will maintain what items you own. Uh, on top of that, there are different types of campaigns. Some require certain expansions, others require um, you to do an in-app purchase, but a lot of options here and definitely a lot of replayability. Wow, just wow. I have not had this much fun with a board game in a long time. I really uh, love the way this dungeon crawler is driven by the app. I think it's a great um, addition to Dungeon Crawling board games. On top of that, I really think this is the first hybrid board game that's really won my heart. I've never been against the idea, but I think this one really works well. 
uh, XCOM was a little app heavy, Alchemist was a little complex game overall, and the app was just another level of complexity, but this really simplifies things, adds new elements and uh, new re replayability options. On top of that, I know they're working on a version for uh, Star Wars Imperial Assault, uh, and they'd also, uh, also have Matches of Madness 2.0, which Dave has been checking out and has really been enjoying. So both of those, I think, are great fits. Um, and I think Road to Legend is an amazing gameplay experience. If you ha own Descent Road to Legend, I definitely recommend picking this up. Uh, it's great to play solo or with a group. Uh, if you don't own Descent, uh, I mean, it's quite the investment, of course, but I think that if you've been wanting to play solo, if you enjoy solo kind of tabletop role-playing, role-playing for another lack of a better term, this is a great fit for you. Uh, it's just adds so much to the game and I think really adds a lot of life to something that might seem a little uh, fiddly if you were playing solo, but this handles a lot of that fiddliness for you. So I definitely recommend checking out Descent Road to Legend.